Hello, my name is Nicole Deese, and I'm an author in the contemporary romance and women's fiction with romance genres, and I'd love to tell you a little bit more about All That It Takes. One unique aspect about All That It Takes is that the story is set in a city that's only about 10 minutes away from where I live in Spokane, Washington. All of the beautiful landmarks, including bridges and special parks and buildings and cathedrals are mentioned in the story. It's on the eastern side of Washington State and it's nestled right in between the Cascade Mountains and the Rocky Mountains. There's rivers, beautiful trees, and lots of trails to hike and it was an absolute joy to set my story here. Right from the beginning of All That It Takes when we meet Val Locklear and Miles McKenzie, we see that they're on two kind of crossing trajectories. Um, Val is just at the start of her journey. Uh, she's just recently moved to Spokane, Washington from small town Alaska. She has an 11 year old son who is gregarious and quirky and curious um, and he loves adventure and she is change adverse but willing to do whatever it takes to uh, secure a good future for her and her son. So she has just kind of started a brand new journey um, with a new job and, and kind of looking into some of her hobbies where Miles McKenzie is just on the tail end of work that he's done for about six years. He's been a pastor for a large church who has uh, gone kind of all out into the world and he's really been primarily in charge of service projects where he has worked with vulnerable people groups brought them supplies, worked hard labor, and um, really brought hope into places that have a lot of need. Val and Miles's journey converges at Riverside Family Center, where Miles has taken a job to bring new vision and to meet the needs of the people that are already happening within Spokane uh, for however short term he thinks it's going to be. And Val's job is to work on this film project that is a human interest project that she will later enter into a contest for the film mentorship that she's a part of. And it's there at Riverside Family Community Center that the heart of this novel really takes shape. Um, my vision for this book was really to show not only that community is valuable and important to be known and connected, but also this idea that all that it takes is one person being willing to say yes to the needs of someone else that can change the entire trajectory of that person's life. We see this in the documentary that Val is making, and we see this in the people that Miles has direct interaction with. Uh, there's one particular sweet character in this story named Carly, who is a young teenage girl who is pregnant and really in need of support and opportunity. Val and Miles both have an opportunity to give that to her in this story. And we watch the progression of what it looks like to be the one to say yes to someone else in need. As an author of romance and reader of romance first, my hope for my readers of All That It Takes is that they get to experience all of the spark, chemistry, and those deep late night conversations that lead to that satisfying ending of a love story. But I also pray and hope that my readers walk away with asking themselves one big question. Can I be the one? Can I be the one to look at my own stories and see the hardships that I've overcome and the experiences that I've walked through, those places where I've sat and asked God for help? Can I be the voice of hope in someone else's journey? Thank you so much for this opportunity and for being able to share this story with your world of readers. Thank you.